Hey everyone, welcome back to our movie news. Zack Snyder is returning to Warner Brothers, and this could lead to some very exciting things. So today let's break it down and discuss what it could mean for the future. A 300 TV series adaptation is in early development at Warner Brothers Television, Variety has learned from sources. Deals are still being negotiated, but Zack Snyder is in talks to direct and executive produce the series. So Variety are hearing that a 300 prequel series is in the works at Warner Brothers and Zack Snyder could be directing and producing it. Now this is huge news for multiple reasons. Firstly, for 300 fans, a prequel series is coming. Personally, I wasn't a fan of the movie, but I can appreciate why people did like it. Secondly, it means that the relationship between Warner Brothers and Zack Snyder is healing. This is fantastic news as it means that the issues Snyder had with the old Warner Brothers regime has not carried over to the new regime in charge, and this would mean movies by Snyder that were not possible before at Warner Brothers are now far more possible. A huge barrier to Snyder returning to Warner Brothers was his relationship with the studio and how they viewed him after his time at DC. But clearly, if negotiations are going on right now, then that means negotiations in the future can happen with other Warner Brothers owned properties. And what this also means is that this video I made right here is absolutely irrelevant because clearly that toxic vocal minority doesn't influence how studios see Snyder. And that is brilliant news. I'm so glad I was wrong. Now, the new regime at Warner Brothers Discovery has actually had a pretty good relationship with Snyder in the past. Last year, we got the full circle events purely because Pam Abdi and Michael DeLuca helped Snyder make the event possible. Without Warner Brothers, we never would have had full circle, and Zack publicly thanked them for that. So his relationship with the new regime has actually been a positive one, so that definitely helped with Snyder returning to Warner Brothers. And this is actually happening with Warner Brothers Television, but it never would have been possible if he didn't already have a good relationship with Warner Brothers Film Group. Now, what I find really interesting by this is that many Snyder fans who were calling to boycott Warner Brothers and turning their back on the studio for not restoring the Snyderverse and demanding that Netflix should get the rights are now slowly changing their tune. It's that case of don't cut off your nose to spite your face, or biting the hand that feeds you. Turning on Warner Brothers Discovery for not restoring the Snyderverse and calling to boycott them seems to have been a very bad decision right now, as Snyder may be working with them again. It's why I never called to boycott the studio or just pushed for sell ZSJL to Netflix. Hashtag Restore the Snyderverse encompasses all outcomes, and the fact that Zack Snyder wants to work with Warner Brothers again shows that the boycott was not worthwhile, and acting as if sell ZSJL to Netflix was the only option also was not true. So to see many hearing this news and changing their tune is pretty interesting. But I'm glad they are, because I don't think the motives of either of those hashtags do anything productive, and the most likely chance of the Snyderverse being restored has always been at Warner Brothers. So what could this news mean for the future? Well firstly, let's talk about Rebel Moon. Before both movies came out, it looked like we were getting more movies and shows past the two films that were coming out. But since the reaction from audiences and Snyder fans, and this latest news, it looks like that may not be the case. With Dan Lin in charge, who has jokingly called Snyder fans bots, and the fact that the reviews for Rebel Moon were not so positive, we could be seeing an end to the Rebel Moon franchise. We will have to see how people react to the director's cuts, but based off the fact that Snyder is also negotiating a return to Warner Brothers, that could also imply that he thinks he won't be too busy at Netflix in the future. Now I know what most people want to know about is what does this mean for Snyder working with DC again? Well honestly, this is way too early to tell. I would say the fact that Snyder's and Warner Brothers Discovery's relationship is healing does naturally increase the chances of Snyder being at DC, 
see again, purely by the fact that before now, he and Warner Brothers were not working together. And now they are negotiating to work together. And that is a step in the right direction. But it is still an unrealistic expectation. We are in an extremely early phase of negotiations for something completely unrelated to DC. So in the grand scheme of things, this means nothing for the Snyderverse, and to expect anything to come from this would be foolish. But to ignore the fact that this is a step in the right direction would also be ignorant. Now if Snyder was to reunite with DC, there are three avenues Snyder could go down. We have the obvious one, restoring the Snyderverse, we have working within the DCU on a DCU project, and we have making a true Dark Knight Returns Elseworlds movie. Those are the three possibilities we have, but let's go through them. Firstly, we have the Snyderverse. Now, based on the current situation at DC and Snyder's current work, this wouldn't be something that would happen right away. He has other projects he is working on before he would even be able to make a Justice League 2 and 3. And the actors would be older, but I genuinely believe that most, if not all, would say yes to coming back to conclude their stories. People like Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck really didn't get the closure to their characters, and I think Justice League 3 would allow that to happen. But I'm pretty sure DC Studios is trying to streamline their franchise and focus on the DCU as much as possible. So would they want a competing DC universe alongside their own DCU? I don't think they would, but I also don't think Justice League 2 and 3 would be a competing universe because they would just be two movies that conclude what was set up before. If anything, it stops the competition because there would no longer be any demand for more in the future. That story would be complete. Now what I think would increase the chances of it happening would be if it was made in animated form. I I know this is something that not a lot of Snyder fans want, but this is something Snyder has expressed an interest in, and I think this is the most likely outcome for the Snyderverse being restored. It would be cheaper, it would have less impact on the DCU, and would be easier to get the actors back for it. Now obviously I want live action, but if it was this or nothing, then I'm choosing animation. Now the second avenue is Zack working within the DCU, which I would absolutely love as I think there will definitely be a project out there that fits his style. And with Gunn saying the story will be the focus, it means that if Snyder directed a DCU project, he would be back as director and a writer would be brought in to help him tell the story. And I think that is when Snyder makes his best movies. But he has only displayed interest in a Dark Knight Returns movie or a Snyderverse completion, so I don't think the DCU is a place Snyder wants to go to. Which I do understand completely, but I do hope he changes his mind because I think he would work really well within the DCU. And this leads us to our third outcome, making a Dark Knight Returns movie. This would be like the Snyderverse, an Elseworlds story that doesn't connect to any other movie. And I really don't know how likely this one is. I think it is something that would be in demand, but I think most would prefer him to complete his Justice League story over making this film. Or maybe making this film could help lead to him making his Justice League story. Maybe The Dark Knight Returns could be the Elseworlds movie he creates first, and then depending on how popular that film is, would decide if he would be able to make his Snyderverse sequels. But I guess it really all depends on how open DC Studios are to Elseworld movies. I think if Joker 2 and The Batman 2 weren't already announced when DC Studios took charge, then those films wouldn't have had sequels being made. Superman and Lois is ending after season 4 due to DC Studios not wanting their new Superman film to have live action competition. So I don't think they would want Snyder making Elseworld movies that could pull attention away from the DCU. You really have to think about it from their perspective. If they let Snyder make Justice League 2 and 3 and it is better than what the DCU is making, then people will bash the DCU and ask for more of what Justice League 2 and 3 did. But if most dislike Justice League 2 and 3 and it doesn't do well at the box office, whilst it could make the DCU look better, it could also have people question 
questioning why DC Studios made that decision, and they would have lost Warner Brothers money for making those films, meaning both outcomes could lead to DC Studios looking bad. However, there is one scenario where DC Studios looks great from this and gets the full benefits from it. If they made Justice League 2 and 3, which would make a lot of fans happy, and when the film releases people love those two films, then they would be thanking DC Studios for letting those movies be made. And instead of clowning on the DCU's movies, audiences love both takes, saying they loved the ending to the Justice League story, but are also loving what the DCU is doing. A bit like the DCU happening and the Batman happening. And by completing the Snyderverse story, they also would be getting rid of a lot of the Snyderverse pestering, and instead probably bringing a lot of Snyderverse fans onto DC Studios' side and potentially supporting the DCU. That is the only outcome where they truly benefit from it, and I think that is a risky move from them. But it is something they are technically doing with Joker 2 and the Batman 2, so it really would be if they think it would be beneficial to what they are trying to build at DC. If they are trying to streamline the DC franchise to only make DC Studios stories in the end, then the Snyderverse being restored really wouldn't help that. But if DC Studios want to make Elseworld stories, then I think the Snyderverse definitely should be a part of that. So overall with this news, whilst it means nothing for DC specifically, the fact that Zack Snyder and Warner Brothers Discovery want to work together again is promising and is progress. What that may lead to in the future, we really do not know. But I do hope it is one where we can see Justice League 2 and 3 happen alongside the DCU. Not instead of it, not replacing it, but I would love to see both happen side by side. The fact that the Batman 2 can happen whilst they are making their own Batman movie within the DCU shows that it can happen, but maybe it might be something they may look at depending on how people react to the Batman 2 and Batman Brave and the Bold. If people bash Brave and the Bold but love the Batman 2, then I think they will want to move away from Elseworld stories, but if audiences love both, then I think DC Studios will embrace more Elseworld stories to only improve the reputation of the brand, and hopefully the Snyderverse can be a part of that. But make sure to let me know your thoughts on Snyder working with Warner Brothers again in the comments below. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.